There we go. Sorry, guys. I forgot to actually turn on my uh, my mic today. That was a new move. Sorry. Welcome. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Alone in the Dark 2024 remake, if you will. Today, we are jumping in to the second character now, which is Emily Hartwell, which honestly, I almost feel like they wanted you to play as her to begin with. Um, kind of to start things off because she has direct relation with the uh, you know, she is obviously a family relative. She is the niece of the character you're coming to find out what's going on with them. You know what I mean? So, uh, or where they went, more or less. So, today, or yesterday, we ended up doing this run. We ended up getting all the collectibles possible for Edward Carnby. And now we're going to be doing the same thing with Emily. Now, I discovered that even though uh, there are collectibles that are shared across the board, apparently you got to recollect them anyway. So, what I'll do is kind of look through the same ones that I got last time and that are shared and kind of go from there and hope that like the ones that are collected or that are exclusive say to uh, Edward for example are going to appear because I don't know if you guys remember I was trying to figure out a couple of trophies at the end of the last game or at the end of yesterday's stream I was trying to figure that out what kind of trophies we we're going to be dealing with um, and I'm not kidding you I think there's about four of them that are bl glitched and do not work including uh, th uh, two of them require uh, is like an alternate ending those two are bugged out there's one where you have to unlock all the locks in the game that one's bugged out which i should be getting because i know i did unlock all the locks or i would be in this run anyway um because you have to there's different doors for different people so um i'll still try but i don't think it's gonna work um and another thing uh there's like i said two of the endings there's also if you try to go for like the speed run it's glitched out um if you try to do it without healing you know the one where not taking a sip from your flask once that's also glitched out so you can't even get it if you go to the trophy section and you look for the ones that say zero percent of players unlocked it it's because it's glitched out so uh fortunately though one of the alternate ending achievements or trophies is working and in order to get it you have to actually have two runs of it anyway and you have to have collected the certain set a certain set to get it so what i'm going to do is the traditional ending is defeating the boss at the end but there is an alternate secret ending that happens uh if you do this so i'm going to make a say hard save before it's in the last chapter when you're talking to everybody at the end there it happens right then and there so i'm going to make sure i save beforehand just so we can see it and then we'll reload and finish the game as it's intended. So, uh, anyway, welcome back. Hope you guys are ready to rock and roll with this Emily run of Alone in the Dark. If you are, make sure you leave a like on the stream. And, of course, don't forget to say what's up in the chat so I know you're with us as well. Again, I know we're doing an early stream because I found all this information out. And it did take me, like, I don't know, seven. I can't remember how long it took me. Was it seven hours, 45 minutes, something like that? So, I, it took a while. It was basically an eight-hour day. So I, I definitely, I know where I'm going now, and I know, like, kind of the, the order of things, and I know the puzzles and all that, but there are going to be some changes because we're playing as Emily. There's going to be some exclusive stuff that didn't happen. There's going to be some scenes that are different. More or less, the game remains the same, but there are a lot of things that do change that make the experience completely different. So uh, it is worth doing, obviously, considering I want to get some of the other collectible trophies as well. So anyway, let's go through chat here. We'll say hello as we'll get started. All right, what's up, Tyler? Hey, Judd. Hey, K hey Kiro. Anyone, <clears throat> excuse me, what's up, Tyler? Oh, I got you again, double dipped. Uh, let's see, what's up, Brian? Hey, Sefi. Hey, Mickey. What's up, Walter, Okami? Uh, what's up, Alex? Can move? Why is my voice dropping? <clears throat> hey, Nicholas. Uh, who else is here? I think that's about it for now. Kind of a smaller crowd today. Hopefully more people joined, but I don't think people were vibing with this game as much as I thought they would, honestly, judging from yesterday's stream. And people were liking it like we're in it, but they're like, I'm not watching it again. <laughs> We'll see, though. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna. we're not going to bother with the prologue this time like we did in yesterday's stream. Um, at least the external prologue. There's a bit of an intro that kind of counts as a prologue. So we'll just focus on that one. So anyway, guys, without further ado, let's jump in to Alone in the Dark once again. And jumping in as Emily. Here we go. Previous autosave will de be deleted. Out of curiosity, hold on. Let me look at something. Let me, hold on, here's what, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna load, I'm just gonna continue just for a second. Just for a second, and I'm gonna load up my old game, and I'm just going to manual save it. Just like that, okay? Just so that we have, because uh, yeah, the autosave slot's gonna be gone, so. Here we go. 
Now I'm curious. I don't understand why they didn't make it a, make a chapter select or anything like that. It seems kind of like a missed opportunity there. But it, it. I mean, it depends. I did everything possible, and it took me just under eight hours to do it. But I'm playing it again with a different character, which changes things. So, if you play as both characters, yeah, you're gonna be like maybe 16 hours or under, assuming you run both. So, your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at Dresselo? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis. Figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Yeah, Vinus David Harbour. Real? Same actor. Or is it all just in his head? It's so, yeah, a story it is all he tells Hopper. himself <laughs> From Stranger Things. Anything to avoid the truth. What's up, Miss T? Which is? Okami, Brian, we're all terribly Squid, what's insignificant. up? Hey, Viking. Dead people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Yeah, here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. All right. So this is where we're going to switch things up. And we are going to pick our girl Emily, played by Jodie Comer. Let's go. But this time, she goes through the back door instead of him going up the front door. Hello? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? This is a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and look at our investigation. When I get back, John Marcus, 1918. When I get back, John Marcus, 1918. Ah, there it is. Hold on. Surprised by... There it is. Dearest Emily, they're set always the prey of evil, and now they're all in on it. The staff and all the patients are nothing more than a mindless cult set to awaken the bayou. 
I see now that it was wrong of me to try to survive the madness of the dark man. You will also learn that soon enough. Every hour that passes where I deny him his right to my sanity makes it worse for the people I care about. He perfectly staged this world in order to conduct my fall. And I have to fall, Emily. Stay away, my dearest niece. Stay as far away from Deceto as you can. Someday you may understand what I've done. May God forgive me. Farewell, Jeremy Hall. I love how this thing was left on and it's still like working. Like you know, the, everything is still charged up. Now here's my thing. Do you guys think I should like let, like all the collectibles we've received already, like in the last run? Do you think we should replay them or only play the new stuff? Because a lot of the dialogue took place, um... Is she rolling with a different pistol? What's up, T-Roy? We need them bolt cutters for that. Hmm... Well, I, here's the thing. That's not what I'm talking about. I like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah, because the only... Co I didn't miss any collectibles. They've built the, house around the only collectibles left in this in this run are the ones that are exclusive to um, her. So, like, each character has exclusive pickups and, and dialogues. So, in order to get 100%, you have to do both. But I think I, in order for me to save both, I have to select both. Does that make sense? Like, I, I have to re-get all the collectibles I got for it to count. Like, for example... See, my sets are here. Uh, so, it saved these, the Lanyaps. It does save the sets. We'll see if they're there. If they're not... Because, as you can see, there's only... What? Three I need. All the world's a stage. And... This is actually... All the world's a stage. This is the one that's going to set up that alternate ending I told you guys about. And a lot of these are actually if you have a hundred percent of all these things the problem is I think a goat without horns actually does set up a bad ending and If you if you use these items, but the thing is the objectives are glitched So you'll be using one objective and then the other object objective never pops never letting you finish it That happens with a ton of the alternate ending ones. It's pretty crazy. Actually. How many are bugged? I'll just take this so here's what's gonna happen based on whether or not um, if the collectible is here it is. So the family Bible is one we've already. But in order to get all the Every clues, day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a I don't difficult know. year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. The thing is, I know I got that in the last run, so I think to keep it streamlined. I think I won't reread the ones we had because we because it's just gonna those dialogues are gonna take fucking forever. So because yeah, I think we've anything that's the same. I think we'll uh, oops. Yeah, anything that's the same, we'll I think leave it. And anything new, because in order for me to get the achievement or the trophy, I've got to recollect everything again. Yeah, see, it's not here anymore. There was a... So the clue... Yeah, the lanyaps aren't there. So yeah, that one does save. So if you look... The rat poison? I, I do have it. So that's why it's not there. So, okay. So yeah, I guess we're just going to pick up clues then. Since that's all we can get anyway. Unless the clue trophies glitch too. 
Wouldn't that be funny? I mean, it wouldn't be. Nothing in here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm recollecting what's here, which is going to be the clues. But the lanyaps don't aren't necessary for collecting because I've already got it. For Please example, though, touch. see, I'm just going to leave because we already know. Sunday, June. Hmm, what's this? Yeah, see, this is when I looked at it way a long time ago. In the library lock. Yeah, library's locked, yeah. Honestly, I would wait, bro, if you're not sure on buying it for that price. I would wait. There's so many bugs, and a lot of the, like, achievements trophies are glitched out as well, which is pretty oh. remarkable to me. The great... I need the key. I already got that one. All right, now we can leave. But she lets him in now. Wait, don't. No. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. Grr. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Tercetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine. I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. See, knowing what I know you now... You want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. See how it's different? This cutscene's actually different. Now that we're playing as her. Normally he just like sweet talked his way. Because he took the lead last time. But now Grace is showing us to Jeremy's room instead. But knowing the layout of the house really helps things for me. Thank you. Did she stick her tongue out at me, or did she kiss? Like, go like, or did she? Strange kid. I don't know. Mm. Let's look around, see what we can find. Wouldn't it be funny if I just sped run, sped run this fucking thing? So now I have to do all the dialogue to get the trophy, which isn't bugged, by the way, so. What kind of stuff are we looking for? I've never been part of an investigation before. What's up, Adam? Letters, diaries, receipts, all sorts of notes.
I've read about police analyzing teeth marks and blood samples and fingerprints to find criminals. Is that something you can do? No, that sounds more like the way the Bureau of Investigation does things. But, you know, if you do find teeth or blood, it's still worth mentioning. We should talk to Dr. Gray when we're done here. He is the one who runs the hospital. He must know something about what's happened. Yeah, I just want to get a feel of what we're dealing with here first. Of course. They do, but I'd say, like, I'm wondering how. I feel like, ultimately, they are the same. Every night... The Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. Again, different. She wants to cut it up in this run, as, as opposed to... She, her, I remember her saying it was striking. And complimented the artist. So it's like, it is different. The cuts, Every cutscene is different, playing as a different character. So it's worth replaying them for that, alone. Oh no, she did take it, but she just says different things. Sorry, I remember I they were, she rolls it up without well, saying anything. Do you want to carry it, or should I? Miss Hartwood? Emily? I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Hey, Judd. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. Detective Carnby? W where did... First teleportation. Okay, I'm stuck on nothing again. That happens a lot. If you're lucky, you're lucky to get out. I love how it's running away. It's like, you know what? Fine. You know what? I ain't fucking with her. I don't fuck with you. You ah. dumbass bitch. I'm fucking with you. So hers is less powerful, but it does more damage. <sighs> Nothing too bad. What the hell was that thing? <sighs> no, I don't have any plans to play uh, Dragon's Dogma. I can't go that way. I never played the first one, so I just, I, I don't know. I, I looked into it. It looks cooler than the first one, obviously, but it, I don't think it's my thing, so 
I'm going to give this one a pass. I'm being more selective be. <sighs> of the games I'm playing. I'm going to play Rise of the Ronin, though. That's more my style. Since the trophy's bugged, I might as well drink up and get my health back. Dorsetto. Looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. True words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. They see you hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jerry Or he's dead. How. He died in the war, man. There's this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? I am Have you been there? Real. I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. Alright, thanks for the keys, brother. So just three am three rounds in there, that's it. I still gotta talk to him though. Are you staying here? For a while. Wanna see if Jeremy shows up. Your sister, she also works at Dorsetto? Yeah, she the one who got us jobs. Be careful, okay? You said it, miss. Sorry guys. Let's go. Wait. Last time we went out that door, do we have to go out the f Did we go out the front last time we went out that side? I saw we went in that side entrance. Maybe we didn't. Maybe I'm tripping. I wonder if I should just... See, this one's like, this one introduces you to the melee weapons. He's now, what's this? <laughs> My weapon broke. Shh. Calm yourself, Jimmy. Calm yourself.
Time to go. I don't mean to alarm you, but hurry the fuck up. Oh my god, it's coming. Man, fuck you. Come on down. This is what I don't like about the fact that throwables like distractionary items. This is if I let go, it's gonna throw it. But in order for me not to just throw it, see, I want to use it on him. But this is as fast as I go, and it hit the fucking stairs anyway. Really? Why does homeboy just get to charge the mound like that? This is such a waste of ammo, in my opinion. I'm just gonna haul it. This must be Miss Jackson's place. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. Never meant to late make a doubt a cry. I apologize. It looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. Yeah, see, all this is locked out anyway, so it doesn't matter. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. Uh, do we know the code? Doesn't he give it to you right off the first one he gives to you? Three, five, eight. I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District, when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh. In that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seems certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? 
You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man. Depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the Dark Man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. Wow, that 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 dialogue was way different with her. He was such a prick, wasn't he? Compared to the, you know, compared to uh, Edward, he was more professional and. Detective Carnby, God, I'm I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me. You're the one who just disappeared. It's hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you. I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. I don't know, Viking. I mean, I haven't seen a day. I, I mean, it's day two, and I still have no patch. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world, like Tarawea, the place he mentioned in the book. No matter. Paul, you're right. Where he is, it's clear that my. Saw so you know. Won't be limited to Dorsetto. Doctor El. Okay, we got the key to room six. Looks sturdy. Doubt I'll be opening this. Interesting. It's all a patient. We actually Looks do sturdy. know this. Doubt I'll be opening this. I don't think anything will be in it. Oh, wow. I can't believe I guessed the combination. I must be so. So we got it a, a second time. Kind of genius. <laughs> all right, let's leave. The upside with this is we can kind of cruise through because, like, we don't have to list all the the things we've already that are exactly the same. So this will be more, and plus knowing where to go and knowing the puzzles, it'll it'll streamline it a little bit too. Just make sure I remember which room is room at which. Yeah, this is Jeremy Hartwood's. 
Jeremy's room. Oh, Emily's here. Like the normal. I don't think there's anything in here because we got the lanyap from the previous run, so yeah. Make the door! Oh no, wait, there's there's ammo in here. Okay, just kidding, there's no ammo in here. Oh, there is actually, oh, I remember this. There's actually an, a trophy. I gotta try and remember to do it. There's a trophy for uh, pointing your gun at a human being in the game, so I gotta try and remember it. Apparently it could, be hap it could happen at any time. What a strange... I did it! What a beautiful room. She likes it. Well, I need to... There's some aggressive looking rot on these paintings. Hmm. Artist Mosaic and Keith, what was it again? The Astarte Artist Colony. Two nine two nine four. Sure rock crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a the simple. So we need Pisces, Libra, and then I can't. I don't even need to look at the one, other one. Are these zodiac signs? Ah, here we go. <gasps> just keep running. It's all fine. They just fucking with you right now. Everything's back to normal. You need you need more than two, actually. Um, I think. Well, you need two. And then you have to have, once you beat the second, you need a hard save at certain sections of the game. Once they fix the, uh, oops, wrong way. Once they fix the bugs, um, you'll be able to get, uh, there's three alternate endings. One of them I'm actually going to get today because it is not bugged. You know, Mr. Wade. Um, but there's a couple others that require you in Chapter 4 to do certain things from each character. So you have to make hard saves. One thing I would suggest is making hard saves uh, with... Um, with like both characters and chapter at the start of chapter four because I know they require you because there's one where you join the cult by using certain uh, characters or sorry certain uh, what do you call it um, by using the collective certain collectibles now this is exclusive the last time we in here Ruth wasn't in here she was in the uh, mezzanine do you remember that's why this is different No, Dragon's Dogma has never been my style. Good evening, Miss Hartwood. That is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth. Ruth Talon. Is 
Is that Perrick you're smoking? <laughs> How terribly quaint. Maybe so. But I like it. Would you care to share some? That smell is making me feel very nostalgic. Is it all that you hope for? I enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. How flattering. Too bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> your insincerity is really refreshing. I wish you were mad as I am. Then you could stay. Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. Oh, good. I'll be looking forward to it. You don't know anything about what happened to Jeremy, do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but... I don't think I have anything useful to share. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the much needed break. Bon voyage. So, there is also a trophy for speedrunning the game. In under three hours, which... I think you could do it if you know exactly where you're going, but I, I probably wouldn't attempt Lost that blood. unless I'm on, like, the easiest difficulty. I also gotta keep talking to her. Are you reading anything good? A Brightness from Afar by Lord Boleskin. It's actually not bad. You know where Detective Carnby is? Oh, you don't need him. You're doing fine. I should probably go. Until next time, Sherry. Alright, so now we're gonna make a break for the uh the garden once again. We need the bolt cutters anyway, so <laughs> Understand what's happening. Oh, she's here. That's different. That's her actually burying the cat. That's a collectible. What are you which doing we picked up already. Around. You almost scared me to death. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice at a place like this. The doctor may be all about science, but I know these roots have power. Do you know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetto is cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. It's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Harwood. I really mean that. Now, 
If you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gumbo. It's all about the gumbo. If it ain't about the gumbo. Yeah, they are. They're actually quite different. Because this cutscene didn't exist in uh, the Edward run. So naturally, if see how it's gone now? But if we were to get the collectible, it would have been right there. Which is interesting. I mean, it's clever. I mean, apparently in the base game, this kind of stuff didn't do anything. It worked. Okay, I do see the ladder that's knocked over. I never noticed it now, before. What's this? I mean, I knew you had to do this at some point. But now that's a shortcut back up there, right? So if I want to cut... I never did that in my first run, but that's going to really shorten things if I want to avoid it. It's another piece of broken plate. Oh, sorry. I got to run and turn it on. Hey, Stefan, how's it going? Cat's still there. There we go. Okay. Now we've got to go back through this way. I, I'm skipping the ladder. Or am I? Just let me double check. Um... Does it make sense to go that way? Because I have to go back into the, li into the library. I don't think it matters. I don't think it's going to shorten things that much. Oops. Oh, wait, I can grab the shotgun now. But since I'm in the library now, I gotta grab the collectible. Wait, what? It's not here. Are you fucking serious? Bro. It didn't... Sp <sighs> Fucking game is so bugged out. 859. That's probably the one I got. Thanks a lot, game. I can't get I can't get all the land yaps now. Thank you very much. Fucking buggy piece of shit. Can you believe that shit, man? Yeah, there's supposed to be something on the table here. Because I talked to her about that fucking book, and she's supposed to leave the book behind. Now this'll come in handy. <sighs> it's wet shut. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to quit and try. I don't know. And the thing is, it's like you have to make saves constantly because the game only has autosave. Because that, I don't know if that's a land yet that gives me the...
Yeah, it's gone. I talked to her about it. I wonder if I should have gone in and then came back in and maybe she would have been gone. It's blocked. Now it's blocked. I wonder if that's why. I don't know. You know what? I wonder if I had to, instead of... I just realized something. I think that might have been my fault. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? I'm not missing that. That is so annoying. I am not... I was actually not supposed to continue anything. You know how I got the, like, the objective? I was supposed to just... I'm like it's such it would be such, it's so early in the game. I'm gonna skip everything and just speed run it. I know it's annoying, but I'm really sorry, guys. I was basically not supposed to progress the story What's there. This? I wasn't supposed to change it. I was supposed to stop and go back. So I should have just went right back into the room. hate myself man <laughs> I'm gonna try and like speed run past absolutely everything hi Jason I gotta make more saves What's annoying is that this game doesn't have like you'd think they'd have like hard chapter saves. You know what I mean? The fact that there's only the autosave in one of them is pretty fucked up. And it makes me kind of annoyed that I have to that's the kind of shit you have to deal with. Okay, where am I here? Grab it. Grab it, you asshole. Yeah, see, I think what I had actually done was skipped a section of the game to a degree. Like, you know, because because I did the where I filled up and I got the plate. Please do not. Hmm. God, I hate that slow door. But we can skip dialogue, so that'll be fine. Ah, oh, what's this? The great dip I need the key. What kind of stuff are we looking for? I've never been part of an investigation before. Letters, diaries, receipts. What are you talking about, John? 
Code for the disc. I've read about police it's analyzing vague. teeth marks and blood sample. We should talk to Dr. Gray when we're done here. He is the one. Every night. Oh shit, I'm stuck on this again. Oh, this game has so many fucking bugs. I gotta break free. There you go. Go that way. I'm just for the I'm just here for the ammo. To be honest, this I wasn't that far be. back. I could pretty like with skipping cutscenes, you can get here pretty fucking quickly. Are you staying here? For a while. Your sister. She also works at your... Be careful, okay? Oh, come on. I have no ammo left. I'm just going to run. Oh, I missed. Oh, I got him. Oh, are you serious? Holy shit, bro. It looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman.
I think it's meant to hold the talisman. Damn it, I went left first. I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? I'm not sure how much of a detour this took. I don't think it was much. I think it was like only like 15 minutes, maybe? Tops? Good to see you so again, I can skip Ms. all the cutscene and dialogue. We're already pretty much where we were. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French... So I just gotta run back Seto, first. Then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some... Saw you notice. I gotta be careful not to miss anything, though, at the same time. Like Tarawea. Doctor. The place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Looks sturdy. Yeah, I'll be Pick it up. This. Interesting. It's all up. Looks sturdy. Yeah, I'll be opening this. Oh, shit. Looks sturdy. Yeah, I'll be opening this. Oh, wow. I can't believe I guessed the combination. I must be some kind of genius. I love how she's like all sarcastic about it, like the way that she delivered the line. Jeremy's room. Emily! All back to normal. Oh, he didn't have any ammo this time. Aggressive looking rot on these paintings. I don't want to stay's work. There you go. I was wondering when I get that play for more than eight hours. Hmm. Hmm. Are these zodiac signs? Despite making a fool of herself in front of Dr. Gray and Detective Compey, Emily felt... Everything's back to normal. Hmm. Yeah, okay. No mind, sorry.
What am I doing? Brain, brain malfunction. Right. You know, what's that stain? Looks like some kind of rot. Uh, both sat now. I start with the brush and then I style with hands. Lost. Are you reading anything good? You know where Detective Carnby is? I should probably go. Okay, let's see if I. Close the door. I don't know if she's actually going to be there. She's still there, so I think I have to... Can't remember the order of it. That's why I'm a little nervous about this. I think she's gone now, so I think once I'm done... Because, yeah, it only triggers once you get the plate. So if I hadn't gotten the plate... I don't understand what's happening. She's still there. Okay, so I have to trigger it. Now this will come in handy. Yeah, she's still in there. No! So I have to actually go trigger the cutscene, I think, out here. So before you pick up the, uh, the last piece in there, I think I gotta come back. I think that's what they want you to do. They want you to go out here, get this little cutscene. I mean, if you're if your what's is nuts, this is where we go back. We're not gonna do the puzzle yet. And now she should be gone. And now we're caught up, I think. So it's a D, I, I'm hoping it's there. If it's not, I'll be really choked. And it's not there. So it is bugged, I just wasted my life. Why is it not appearing? Bro. Are you fucking serious? What's the point? Dude, I hate this game for all the bugs it's giving me. It's like... I don't know what to do anymore. I, I'm going to look this up and see if it's bugged, because... Oh my god. Are you fucking serious? The house. It's right there. A brightness from afar. Oh my god, it's not appearing because I got it with what's his name. I thought this was an Emily exclusive. Oh my god, bro. I did not have to replay anything. I had already gotten it. Man, that sucks. That really sucks. I am so sorry. I feel like such an idiot. I thought that was because some some of the collectibles are exclusive only through Emily, and I thought that was one of them. But you pick it up later. She's reading it in the mezzanine with. Ah, uh, boy. That really bothers me like immensely. Jesus Christ, bro. And here's me thinking it's bugged. I did not realize that. I should have looked for it. I, I honestly, it never once clicked. 
So I wasted about, I don't know what it was, 15, 20 minutes. It worked. I'm terribly, oh man, we could have had a nice streamline oh, run. This? So at least, uh, look at it this way. Now I know. Um, what's that? Now I know that some of them might actually be, um, you know, doubles, depending on who they are. So that conversation was exclusive, but yeah, I'll just have to pay attention to that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I wish it was more exclusive to each. Did I, I grab the shotgun? There we right? go. Yeah, I did. Oh man, I'm so stupid, bro. I love how that thought never crossed my mind that maybe it already had I already picked it up. It's blocked. I was gonna say that some bitch better drop. It's just when you get absolutely sauced. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh. Meanwhile, she looks like she's on fire. This must be this looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French quarter. I think I've seen this somewhere. Shit. One of these had like a tiny little tick. Can't remember what it was. It was a tiny little. This one. Uh. Shit, where does it go? There was something in Jeremy's notebook about this. Shit, where does this one go? I think one of them's wrong. No. Um, I did this last time too. I'm just trying to remember where this one went. It's gotta be connected with one of the spots. How much one fucking is it? Hold on. That's it. And then this one goes here. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, God damn it. This one spins around. That's not it. That's not it. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Dude, how do I not know this? I've done this already. Maybe these two switch. That's probably it. There it is. Yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> Did it break? The clock just stopped. All right. Uh, big one is six. Middle one is four. Small one is three. So six, four, three. Hmm. There you go. 
It's showing me something. That's just the hallway outside Jeremy's room, isn't it? Did it. I opened up another dream. <clears throat> May nineteen twenty. I need the key. Hey Blake, what's up Sage? It's okay, I mean it's... The story is intriguing, I, this is my second time running through the game with a different character. Um, uh, I will say I feel like it could have been better this game. But what's done is done, you know? <clears throat> I don't. I can't remember if this, uh, if this was a uh, yeah. lanyap or not, or if this. Yeah, it was a lanyap. Okay. Couldn't remember if it was a lanyap or a cl yeah. or a clue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haha! You fell. Oops. I shouldn't have skipped that. I forgot it's a new character. Sorry, guys. That's okay. It's probably just her falling out the window. Anyway, Blake, thank you very much for the super chat, my friends. Much appreciated. It's your first one as well. Yeah, combat is a bit of an L, unfortunately, but... Another gator. Give me that shovel. A lot of ammo here. I have I haven't oh no wait, I was gonna say I haven't been using my shotgun. I have, that's not true. I mean yeah, yeah, I agree. The atmosphere is pretty solid.
Can't remember if they had some extra ammo over here. No, I don't think so. I can break this. I just need something to hit it with. So we're not even gonna bother going to the piano place because we've already got it. Like over there. Can't remember if there's anything in here, so we're just gonna check it. Yeah, there's a lanyap over there that we already got. Let's just make sure. We want to look for the gazing statuette. There it is. Oh. If I could just run, honestly, fuck this. This stage, it takes so long, you might as well just run through it. Oh, there's that guy too, I didn't even see him. So it's more than that. Is he still coming at me? Damn it, there has to be a way to get to the other side. Honestly, I think it, it probably did hurt its reception a little bit, but can you imagine how bugged out it would have been had it not been delayed? Like, it was really bad. It's, it's bad now. Imagine it back then. You know what I mean? I wish they delayed it again, but it's, you know. The thing is, this game has a lot of progress. Like, anything that locks you out of a, of, of a mode that should be achievable, Brutal. I remember back in the day on the Xbox 360, there was one game it was impossible to get a 100% achievements on because of one glitch achievement that no matter what happened, you would never unlock it. And it was a relatively run-of-the-mill achievement. They never ever fixed it. They never fixed it. So. Oh, wait. Why am I skipping these? Sorry, guys. I don't mean to skip all the cutscenes. I mean, that's all that was. Forgot we're back on the story mode again. What the hell is that? Oh my god, let me run faster, thank you.
Jeremy, <laughs> you dropped your. <gasps> oh wow, she's actually attacking her this time. Mrs. Marcus, get off of me! The hell, girl? What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle? Could you please? Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Bois. I met your brother, Batiste, earlier. <sighs> I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Fine, believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. She actually had a conversation with her, and she to took leave. the book first. Before it comes inside. What? Where? Come quick. <sighs> see, they ran up. Oh, see, we got we got pushed in anyway. It's a little bit different. That's cool. See, that's what's different. We escaped that way instead of her draw drawing it out. Oh, God damn my soul. <sighs> Okay, so I think I have to actually make sure you open the bag. Palette knife. Reflections to the power. Reflections. Yeah. And we got the sitting room key, which will let us open this door. Or not this one, but we got the palette knife, which will let us do this. It worked. Hey, Blue. How did anybody wedge it anyway? The Barlow lens. Instruction. I don't have everything I need. Not yet. <sighs> Sup, Blue? Not, a sh not sure if I said hi to you yet. Man, I'm annoyed that I literally, like, restarted. I didn't have to. I, I find... I uh, it's such a waste of time. I thought it glitched out. But to be fair, if the game wasn't full of bugs and glitches like that, where that was possible, I would never have thought that. Oh, there actually is something here this time. And it's shoddy shells, because it's different. Alright, the cruci- I just want to confirm. I think it's here. Where's it? There it is. Yeah, okay. Yikes, almost died. I guess this works too. Still got a pickaxe, so. Hit it! The problem is it's so easy for it to get a hit on you. Oh, am I stuck again? Fucking hell. So yeah, that, that trophy's a tough one to get. I guess if you play on the easiest difficulty, it probably won't ding you that much. Jeremy? 
Oh god, I forgot about this. I don't want to see it. What I'm not looking. The hell is that? I'm not looking. Oh god, I looked. I thought it was done already. Fuck. <laughs> there was a dead body in here. Right, there's the plate Did piece. I just imagine that? Now I think I can drop one of the um It's another one of those plates for the talisman. It's also broken and missing some pieces. Yeah, we still need another one. It's wet shut. It worked. Okay, now this is where we had our Ruth conversation. So Ruth isn't going to be here this time because we already spoke to her. Oh, but she's here this time. Different cutscene. She wasn't here before. Do you teach piano as well? Huh? You're a governess. Did you teach those clawing Casano kids how to play the piano? How do you know about that? Just because grown-ups don't notice children doesn't mean we don't notice you. Got a point, Stan. Yes. I taught them some piano. Are you any good at it? Not good enough to play a broken one. It fell from the attic. Brought half the ceiling down. It was Jeremy's fault, wasn't it? Nobody knows what happened. You're not wrong. Yeah, see, remember when we were when we were playing as what's his nuts? We originally didn't know what happened the were what you know in this room. We were playing as Edward, either like that no one knew what happened. But she knows what happened. Ah what are you doing? Mm. <laughs> She just stabbed her with a fucking syringe. I'm gonna go now. See you around. Again, this is this syringe. It's not gonna appear anymore because we already got it. It's a. It's one the of our. Trick of the syringe. Uh. Yeah. So she's she stabbed her. So if we go to the syringe, I think it's under Great Depression. There it is. Yeah, we picked that up with Edward, so it's not gonna be here, but. That's interesting because I think they really wanted you to play as her first because now we see how the syringe got there in the first place. You know what I mean? But it's interesting because if we had picked it up, we wouldn't have seen it. Like, we wouldn't have seen how that happened. But So it's cool to kind of... Maybe it's better to play as Edward first just because... You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Ugh. On the common pit, there is more of that unsettling rot. Can't remember if there's anything actually in here. I think the bathrooms. 
It's more shit like that. Alright, we already got that one. Get I last time I missed this. I had to come back down and I was looking for it, so. Can't remember, where's the sitting room? There it is. It's on the upper floor. What's up, Franklin? Oh. Yeah, it didn't say anything, Thunder. Thanks for upgrading. That's weird. Normally it does tell you when uh, when it's been upgraded. Come on, Grace. I'm too tired for games. I'll even let you play with my jackknife. Oh, good evening. <laughs> you haven't seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Uh, you would have known if you did. The only kid crazy enough to be in this place. She's not in her room, then? <laughs> that would be a first. Always running around causing trouble. She's very hard to pin down, that one. You want a sip? I'm good, thank you. Well, I should be going then. <clears throat> Unless there's anything you need from me. Creepy. I just want to find my uncle before anything happens to him. Oh, don't worry, miss. He'll show up. <laughs> He is much too lily-livered to kill himself. Why would he? <laughs> it's his greatest ambition, didn't you know? Take care now. Last time he had fallen. Or was that later? No, I swear like when we were Edward, he was like on the ground drunk. And he dropped like a key or something, but maybe not this time. Maybe hers is different. So this is great. Don't you worry, this is room. Cute. Hmm. This is one of those ones that is a collectible, but we've already got it. You can pick it up. But I picked this thing up like three times. So. That one's programmed a little differently. This must be the great Cassandra Beauregard's room. I'm not sure what I expect. Miss Beauregard. Maybe something more extravagant? What's that? Two, Let's five, seven. Down. I think I've seen this somewhere. Uh, I gotta double check it. So Pisces, uh, Pisces, Gemini. Hey, Cavian, how you doing? Welcome. Okay, now we can go to the boiler room and solve that puzzle. I always like to double check. I don't think there's anything really in the bathrooms, but sometimes they have uh, pickups. Some rooms are just for show. A lot, honestly, to be to be honest, a lot of the rooms in this game are just for show.
Wait, um, yes, this is right. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to do this. There you go, Viking. Five months at membership. Just want to say you're the best. Thank you for the good work. Great community to be a part of. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that, bro. Much love to you. This one always got me confused. Okay, that one, we're in the right direction. It's funny as I've already done this one, right? <laughs> Got to get it right. I know these ones are all right. This can't be right. That looks correct. There you go. These ones are right. Now I just gotta... Okay, that's correct. Now I just gotta get the top ones right. There you go. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I think that's right. No, that ain't it. This one, sorry. That goes there. This goes here. There it is. Okay, so the big one is nine, middle one's seven, small one is five. Oh. The talisman is showing another room. Easy sauce. Something is open. I'm in another one of Jeremy's dreams. It's been a while since I visited the family tomb. I hope it's in a better state than the real world. I don't care why this is here. There's no one to throw at. What? There's something missing. What's this?
There we go. Okay, last time I just rushed through this one. I wonder if I should take my time. Oh. Or I just Wu-Tang them. I mean, they, he busts through. What do you want? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they just left the perfect ammo. Like the per perfect caliber type in here for me. Yeah. It's very sweet of you. All right, mini boss fight. Unless it's good. No, wait. They don't they don't give you the boss fight yet. Or do they? Make sure I have as much ammo as possible, because I know we're about to go into that fight soon. Crap, it wouldn't pick it up. Yeah, it won't let me grab it for some reason. It's dead. I can't remember where I came in, but I know there was some more ammo. Somebody will cop it. Go. Went a lot smoother this time around, y'all.
Oh, excuse me. Oh, there's too many. I have to run. Pretty easy, honestly. When you actually know where you're fucking going. Oh, we got our last one. Okay, I know there's a land yap in here, but I already got it, but yeah. I still am going to uh, pick up the health. Do I, I'll heal up so we can get it. See, this is basically the end of the chapter now, pretty much, um, and it took me about an hour 20. If I hadn't reloaded, I would have shaved those 20 Emma, minutes off, is that you? so it only would have taken Damn. me an hour. And this was like, this one took All me like two hours, here. this chapter. Well, you sounded so miserable in your letter. I've come to take you away from here. I can't believe I made such a foolish mistake. All I wanted was for you to stay away. What do you mean? I bargained with the dark man. A pact to keep New Orleans safe with my own life as tribute. The Dark Man isn't real, Jeremy. There is nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? How do you still not trust my words? Fine. Then let me help. Don't be foolish. He will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. I don't care. I'll find a way. I have my own talisman, and I know about Tarawea. Oh, wait, 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 don't speak. Who's in here? Show yourself. You know who, Emma? He took your grandfather. No, I mean it. Who's in here? I can feel someone's in here. So creepy. Evelyn! But it's a little bit different, see what I mean? It's more warming. This one. Tarawea. Why do you want to go there, Jeremy? Okay, my everything clue. I've seen so many. Okay, we've already got that one, obviously. I need to find out more about Jeremy's pack with the dark man. She was beautiful. I wonder what happened to her. 
You know she did. All right, let's go and interact with the. Uh... It's open. Okay, just making sure. Let's go interact with the um, the steamer trunk. It's a telescope lens. Why would he lock it in here? Let's try to remember what Jared. the quickest way to the sitting room is. Or drawing room, rather. So we gotta go down the floor. So we'll go straight across to the servant stairs. And that's where we'll walk in. Okay. You eventually learn the place pretty well. Wait, what's going on? It, it's entering the numbers by itself? Okay, uh, great, so where is that? Sorry, where am I going again? Right, down here. Sorry, I couldn't remember. Um, so I'm on the right level. I just got to head, what, through the library? Probably the fastest route. You should not have come, Emily. How do you know my name? Have we met? In a manner of speaking. As a manifestation of Yermi's deepest desires, I am to you unfamiliar. Yet I know of you. Are you Jeremy? Is that what you're saying? I am only his subconscious thoughts. I cannot speak for his totality. How come you have a Spanish accent? And what is this place? Is this Tarawea? This is indeed the fabled convent of Tarawea, where Yermi goes to find peace during his sessions with Dr. Gray. It's all fantasy then. Based on the things he has read and seen. And that includes you? Yes. My name is Juan Luis Jorge. Yermi once read a book of mine. It stuck with him. Can you help me break the pact with the Dark Man so we can leave Dorsetto? Yermi doesn't want you to. 
He wants to honor his word to the Dark Man. Why? What's the point? I don't understand what the pact is for. The people of Derseto are calling upon evil to enter this world. Your uncle offered his soul to the Dark Man to contain this disaster. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. The pact will be fulfilled at dawn. As the sun rises, Yermi will forever be entombed in his sunken desert temple. As promised, the Dark Man shall quarantine and starve the evil inside their Seto. What about all the patients and the staff? They will not stand the chance. That's unacceptable. How could Jeremy agree to this? Desperation, of course. Jeremy did not choose martyrdom lightly. Well, nothing is lost yet. I'm sure I can find a way to break the pact and save Jeremy, and hopefully the people at Dorsetto. What even is this evil you're talking about? I don't know much. I think some nightmarish entity from the bayou. I'll just have to deal with that later. First, I have to get Jeremy out of his deal. What? Did you run out of arguments? You are actually quite inspiring, Miss Emily. If we put Jeremy's feelings aside, I would have to say I agree with you. Really? You might just be able to save the old man from himself. I think you should take a look in the convent library. Try to find the truth about Jeremy's relationship with the Dark Man. Okay. You should know that you won't be alone in those grand halls. The Dark Man has been reading those books for years. He's... here? You'll have to be very careful. Of course. I... I can be careful. Good luck, Miss Emily. Okay, we'll talk to him. What is the Dark Man, do you know? The Black Sun. The stalker among the stars. The crawling chaos. No. Neither I nor Jeremy knows what he truly is. I'm worried this is how it starts. That this is just madness enveloping me. I'm sorry. There is no compelling answer I can give you to dispel such doubts. Well, I've put this off long enough. Take care, Juan. You too, Miss Emily. I will cross my fingers and hope for the best. See, everything's a little bit more personal with Emily. And like I said, I feel like we're running into story things that kind of explain. But that also makes it makes me wonder, like, hey, maybe that's for the best. That we um, played as Edward first. We'd be like, oh, that's how that got there or whatever instead of. Because then we would have picked up the lanyaps that might have done it and it or when have showed it like the syringe for example We would have known that was a pickup because we would have picked it up as Emily We wouldn't have known that it would have remained there, right? But the fact that it remained there kind of made it seem like oh Emily was here before But I don't know I like like the one thing I'm not sure is is Emily actually doing the exact same things that Edward is or I Don't know That's why I'm not sure Hey, Red, how's it going? The great...
See, I didn't see this last time. I didn't use this one. I actually just went around him. You know what I mean? I didn't go down this way. I just kind of shimmy shook him and went around him later. He doesn't ever seem to be actually interacting with me. That's the thing. He's just looking for books. Like, he never goes around the corner. He stops, like, in the middle. And then he's just like, huh. Nothing here. And he's got, like, a tampon drip from his face right there. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext Shipping Company pressing their contribution. Emily! found what you were looking for, Emily. I fear there is no going back. He's in my head, Juan. His breath replacing mine. You should not have come, Emily. friend. Come, join me for some giggle water. This is different, too. Uh, Ruth? Oh, Miss Hartwood. Don't tell me you've been out swinging without me. Ruth, what is this place? Where are we? Have you never been to the Maccabean before? Goodness me. Tell me, Miss Hartwood. Have you ever considered going out for an evening? Are we in New Orleans? Oh, who can tell anymore? I just went inside the Grand Parlor and suddenly here I am. The Grand Parlor? Can I get back to Dorsetto from here? <laughs> Are you sure you want to? We could stay here and drink the night away. How about a gin fizz? Oh no, they had this before, sorry. The drinks are different. If this is New Orleans, maybe I should go further. Find that magic show the book was talking about. But there was no address, just Preg's shipping company. Oh, is this about where Jeremy met the dark man? How do you know about that? 
<laughs> Jeremy talked a lot about the dark man. I always felt a bit envious. How so? If an all-powerful entity showed me any interest, I'd at least hear him out. I'm sure he has plenty to offer. I don't think you'd want that, Ruth. You're too sweet for such darkness. <laughs> oh, please. What kind of blue nose do you take me for? I relish the darkness. I think it suits me. <laughs> You don't happen to know how to find the Preg's shipping company, do you? Of course. Their office is just over there. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? You just got lucky. <laughs> A bientôt, Mademoiselle Emily. Hey, do you know where my uncle is? No, but I bet you're close. Uh, that that one's glitched, Viking. I can't even do that. So, so no. <laughs> All right, matchbook, land, yeah. Dark man enters. Was that was hot This one we didn't get. Through the night with it glitched the out. Restless crowds to witness the enigmatic Black Pharaoh. He was a kind of itinerant showman, who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear wherever he performed. It was the sort of thrills my father sought out, especially if there was a promise of electrical trickery. The Norlands address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext Shipping Company pressing their contribution in the morning papers. There were rumors of an Egyptian sarcophagus being a part of the act. Something which kept me wondering how they had carried that up the seemingly endless stairs. The details of the showman's performance have almost been entirely replaced by dread. The kind that numbs and hides the terror of something unbearable. What is certain is that ever since that night, I can't remember a single day passing without seeing or sensing the presence of a dark Man. All right, yeah, just to show you what I mean, um, the trophies, if you go to the trophies, for example, um, nobody's got the platinum yet because it's impossible. See that? 0% of players have it. Uh, point 0.1, so this one is doable. Finish the game, so that's a speed run. So that one does work. Speed run one does work, but no one has it. This one works. That's part of the story, so it is, you know, this is possible as well. Yeah, so that's the regular ending. So that's something I gotta do. This is the hidden ending we're gonna get right here. And see, 0%, 0%. Radic Submit to the Dark Man. That's one of the endings, one of the hidden endings. One, same thing here. They're both. These are both hidden endings. You have to bring uh, certain items, like the collectibles. You have to bring them to certain areas. See how there's 0%, you can't do it. So these one, this one apparently isn't bugged or might be bugged. I'll try. I, I, I think I missed one of them in the last run because of the... But I think now that I've got her... You see what I mean? Like, so... Read all the clues. I didn't read all the clues because I had hers to get as well. So, it counts as her clue. So, there's a few clues that are exclusive to each person. Actually, I think this is doable. You just can't get it for... Uh, you can only get it with... Um, with her. Not him. With that, Not with Edward, you know? Preg's shipping company. According to the book in the Great Library, they assisted a showman performing somewhere in New Orleans. It's somehow connected to Jeremy's introduction to the Dark Man. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Really, bro? Get off of me. It's just a waste, you know, like. I wish you could throw the shit at them. Come on, reload. Oh. Fuck, dude, seriously? Oh, 
god. There's so many elements, it's like, why am I... Like, this thing, I, apparently the second shot... He's still... Oh my god, he's still alive, bro. That is insane. I had to waste so much from that. Anyway. There has to be another way inside. There's a way through the sewers. All I could say though, it's been a few days. I, I, well, I mean, it came out yesterday, but they still don't have a, I'm guessing it'll probably take about a week. Sorry guys, one sec. Oh, I forgot to reload. All done. See this? What I mean, I gotta slowly walk. Let's just hightail it. We don't need to be here anymore. There's no sense in. Oh my god! <sighs> just go. I can't make it here. Don't waste the ammo. A lot of it you can just run away from. Not everything you can, but. I wanted to check this because I didn't kill him last time. It was completely pointless. That was just a waste of two rounds. I thought maybe he'd be hiding like some pickup or something. He wasn't. That was just a big old fucking waste. That really blows. And honestly, the throwables don't do that much damage. back.
Alright, sorry guys, back. Okay. Right. I made it inside the warehouse. Grab as much ammo as possible. Right, that was a lanyap from the last run. I mean, they do give you a decent amount of shots, you know, a decent amount of rounds, but... Getting ridiculous. I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, <laughs> she <sighs> gotta go, man. This is it. The address to the theater where Jeremy first met the dark man. We are making pretty good time though. I think we are at like the four hour mark by this point or something like that. We're not even, we're two and a half hours. We're nearly done chapter three. I mean, still a bit to go, but there's not much. Bro, I think we just killed them all without firing a single round. Oh, just kidding. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Bye. Looks like the fog cleared up. All right, hold on, let me just see. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're good. <sighs> no, that is known, John. That is the same person. They said that. It's Ruth. Shouldn't have come. Don't say that. You needed my help. All I wanted was to keep people away from DeSetto. Especially you, Emily. You're the only one in the family who forgave me for choosing old age over death. Father still cares for you? He is paying for your treatment at DeSetto. To get rid of me! That's the only reason anyone's at this chateau. Someone in the family thought you were becoming an embarrassment. Help me get you out of this mess, Jeremy. I want to take you away. Your father would send me right back. What if I take you up north, to Kingsport? I know Mother still has family up there. I've been thinking about going for a while now. <gasps> I haven't been to Massachusetts in years. I still paint from memory, you know? That old lighthouse makes for a great motif. Your father and I would go almost every summer. Then when our great uncle died, we stopped going back. What is there to be done about the dark man? He's the one holding you back, right? You feel like you can't leave without paying your debt to him. The dark man has been with me since I was 12 years old. <laughs> he was standing right on that stage right over there. For a brief moment, his gaze 
held mine. And that was it. I recognized him for what he was. The heart with Geis embodied in flesh. I thought it was my turn. But I was only there to be mocked. Instead, his attention moved on to my father sitting next to me. I turned to him and saw his face. The whitest shade of pale I've ever seen. He bit off his tongue that night and suffocated. What can be done, Jeremy? Please. There's a way. Two ways, to be exact. One voice and the other. A written contract, now buried inside his sunken temple. Don't you remember what it said? <gasps> I don't want to. Try it, Jeremy. What did the contract say? No, we can't. We can't let New Orleans suffer that blight. I have to make this sacrifice. What are you talking about? Is this the thing from the bayou? Juan said something. Ah! Dude's out. Hey, Ramiro, how's it going? Okay, so there is a way to break the pact at least. Hidden somewhere inside the dark. All right, outer camp. ring. I just need to okay. find it somehow. Shit, I gotta remember. Let's see. So, out, uh. And let me look at this again. I've already forgotten. So, outer ring is Pisces, I believe, and then Gemini. Pi outer middle, and then Virgo, which is 10, I think. Wait, what was it? Hold on. Damn it, I keep forgetting. So, Pisces, Gemini, and I think that's Virgo or Libra. I can't remember. Uh, okay, Pisces, so two, five, two, five, eight, two, five, eight. Okay. The temple of All right, this will be the final stage. It is a bit of a tedious one, this section, but now that we got the sauce. Okay, you can do this, Emily. I need to get down there so Down we go.
Fuck, it's so easy to get stuck on random inanimate objects. Yeah, the bats are probably the most annoying enemy. I think this one moves. It worked. It worked. Like this, if you know where you're going, you can really boogie through this. Chin. Hey, Marth, how's it going? Oops, sorry. Oh, come on. These got these bats are so irritating cuz the aiming system is so slow. This is where PC would have the advantage. There's still a bat out there. Constellation Taurus. The big star is Eldubrin. Something to do with God's Smoke.
Oops, shit, wrong way. I've seen this in a dream, but as a shallow pit of darkness. Yes, we do have mods this is here. Definitely where the contract is hidden. Moderators are highlighted, their names are highlighted in blue. gonna double check in this room here okay, don't forget they make you run the entire length of it Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through the barriers of self-deceit, temper, manic behavior. Is this it? Is this the contract? Huh? Go ahead and carry her out. I think David Harbour's was better. <sighs> oh, Jeremy. How much pain and suffering you could have prevented. Emily? What are you doing? Detective. Uh, how is your investigation going? Well, I still have no clue where Jeremy is, but I think I know why he's hiding. This place is full of lunatics planning to perform some kind of ritual tonight. Well, that sounds ridiculous. Or rather would have just a day ago. It gets worse. I have reason to believe they killed anyone who didn't want to go along with the plan. Detective? Have you encountered any monsters tonight? I just told you, I think they killed people. Beauregard, the author, Perosi, the singer, Mr. Waits, the clerk, Mr. Chance, the gardener, they're all missing. No, I mean, have you fired your gun tonight? Of course not. They wouldn't just kill outsiders like that. It would bring too much attention. But you should keep your eyes open. So you haven't seen anything strange been anywhere else? What are you trying to tell me, Emily? Are you in some kind of danger? Let me drive you back to New Orleans. I think I have enough. You know, at least get the police to take a look at this case. No, I'm fine. Thank you, detective. 
I'll find your uncle, Miss Harwood. Just stay out of trouble. I mean, obviously, we go in with a better understanding of the story. It makes things a little bit better. Dark Man's contract. We have already read this. So. Let's make our way down. Chapter 4. Keep in mind, there's only five chapters. The fifth chapter is quite short, so. It's getting rough out there. That's blocked. But a good chunk of stuff happens in this one as well. I wonder what our timing is like. Because cutscene, they don't count the counter go back to during cutscenes and that reminds me. pause menu and I stuff. I saw Miss Emily earlier. You remember her? You know she's Jeremy's niece. She's looking for him. That's right. She's helping us in her own way. As long as she don't stand in the way of the mother of a thousand young. <laughs> I don't think she knows or cares about that. She just here for Jeremy. <laughs> I'll be more worried about that Detective Carmen fella. He's been snooping around asking all kinds of questions. God, it hurts. I wish you would stop doing that. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Playing on PS5 right now, Em. Because the PC version is riddled with, sh like, performance issues. But then again, so is this one. going on here We must have <sighs> Lunas Mrs. Detective Combe. Damn it. I hate when they shut the door and you don't get a chance to leave in time. You gotta really move. Brother, I need... Let's forget where it is. There it is. Make sure this is open. Yeah. Hey, little lady, how's your evening been going? Ups and downs, I suppose. <laughs> I hear that. We all live in the life of an elevator operator. Are you all right, sweetie? Do you want to see my mask, miss? I'm making it for St. John's. It's creepy as fuck. Uh, how did you... 
Is that supposed to be my... F Ow! <sighs> you should learn your place, little girl. Why are you acting this way? What did I ever do to you? She's being such a little bitch to her. Have you noticed that? Like, he, she's... Grace! <laughs> Grace! She's being an ass. <laughs> she was completely different in Edward's run. You know what I mean? Like, have you noticed that? See, it was different. He walked away with Edward, and this one he it. got. At least he's breathing. I'll just let him sleep it off. Jeremy New. Okay, I'm not gonna, this time I'm gonna unbolt the door, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm not gonna risk going inside. I'll tell you what, just in case, I'm gonna make a save here because I think this is where I ended up encountering that bug, but I remember this time. We'll see if it bugs it out. I'm gonna ignore it for a sec, and I'm just gonna open this. And we'll go back. We're not gonna go in that room yet. I mean, that would make sense. It, like, Grace and Ruth, the same person, but I don't think they ever covered that. I don't think they are, but... Okay. Mr. Waits must have had a spare key to Dr. Bree's office, but where... I don't know the combination. Wait. Maybe I do. It worked. As she had already opened this before, that's what's so funny about this. The last guest... See you, Red. Here we are, Dr. Gray's office. Now let's see if we can find. I have finished tidying. Dearest Doctor... I don't know if it's going to trigger him again. No. Sometime. Okay. All right, so now we're going to get finally some new stuff that is exclusive to Emily. That wasn't in Ruth's, ru Ruth's room during the, uh, during Edward's run. Ruth, are you there? No, of course not. 
Here you go, War Photo. So this is one of our new one, Dying with Dignity. This as well is new. Castle built the zoetrope as an exercise in animation. He is very interested in moving pictures and has even ordered an aeroscope camera for the colony. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of phantasmagoria he will produce. For now, his zoetrope entertains me greatly. It's not the little man passing his head, while well, quite humorous, it's the spell of that flickering light as it rotates. I swear, it takes me back to my childhood in a most profound way. So I'm not going to interact with that just yet. I'm going to zip over here because I don't want to mess with a... Shit. It happened again. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Here's what's happening. That's why I made a save. Crap. Okay, I am going to ignore that. Sorry, guys. I fucked up. I don't know why I didn't just do it to begin with, but that's why I made a save. I should have made another one, but what's done is done. Mr. Waits must have had a spare key to Dr. Gray's office, but where? I don't know the combination. Wait. Maybe I do. Yeah, the same thing happened during Edwards. I, I think I'm supposed... What had happened, you're supposed to go in there. But what I'm going to do instead... The last... That, that, I mean, I'm sure it would come around again, but I ended up skipping ahead. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go in Ruth's room. Until I get that one thing. Here we are. Dr. Gray's office. I have... So, like, I just have to go open a... Uh... find some answers. I'll show you. Hold on. Dearest... Yeah, I, I, you're supposed to only touch... The problem is the game glitches. It's not supposed to like trigger that change of the room until um, <gasps> until you interact with the other. This can't be. The actual ex but that, the same thing happened with Edward. I was supposed to go in the room, grab everything, and leave. So I'm not even gonna go into Ruth's room just yet. I'll probably save it. I mean, it will it will fix itself because we proved that in the other game, or sorry, in my other run. But I'm not triggering that. I don't want to. I don't want to risk that shit. You know what I mean? It's just kind of dumb. So yeah, root. So you know how going to the other room. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm not trying to go in there just yet. So I'm like, because going into Ruth's room is obviously what triggers the, the cutscene cheese. Please no. So I'm immediately going to go towards him. I'm going to unlock this. I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to go to this side before it changes. Okay. There we go. Now that's unlocked. What is happening? Hold on a second. What? That? I'm so confused. Why is this locked now? Dude, why is this happening? It doesn't make any sense. I should be able to go in that room to... What, why does it keep locking random fucking doors? This is getting annoying. Like, I'm Please supposed no. to be able to go... <sighs> I don't get it. Like, I, I don't... Like, I haven't triggered anything yet, so it shouldn't be. So I'm gonna trigger him to disappear. Open this door. 
I'm gonna go back to what's his nuts' his room. Why is it locking it? Bro, this doesn't make any sense. Why does he keep locking this? This is what's his name's room, isn't it? Emma. Yeah, I need to get into McCarthy's room. It keeps, it keeps fucking locking me out. Can I leave though? See, now it's locking me out. So obviously what's happening, I know what's happening. I really hate this. So I have to go to this one first. The thing is, I need all... Like, apparently there's so many bugs that there's a way around it. So that's why I'm trying to avoid it. Please, no. Out of curiosity, do I have... Because, yeah, maybe I can go in here now. Yeah, see, now I can go in here. Sometimes. See, yeah, see, it locked me out of that, which is really stupid. So I needed that clue to get the, the trophy for getting all the, all the clues, right? So it's like... So they want you to, I think, like, it's, I don't even know what to say. So it's like, I'll make another save once we, uh, before we, so I'll get all this shit. It might change Mr. back Wait, for all I know. Must have had a spirit key to Dr. Gray's office, but I don't know the combination. Wait. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe I do. It worked. The last. Yeah, it's got a lot of programming issues, this. Here we are. Dr. Gray's open. I have finished. Yeah, so you need that stairwell key. Dearest Dr. So once I leave, I'll make another hard save. This can't be. I mean, I'm glad I saved it this time. You know, but then again, back in my first run, I had no idea of knowing that it was going to bug out. Okay, so it made an auto save. I'll make a manual save. There you go. That's in slot eight. So I'm just going to see what happens when I go. So I'm not going to go in Ruth's room. I think going to Ruth's room is actually what. It does it anyway. So out of curiosity, am I even able to go in Ruth's room? No. Can I go in this room? No. So it does it anyway. You have no choice. What is going on here? But maybe it'll bring it back. Because remember, it did bring it back. We'll see what happens. I did save it a couple times. 
Because I can't go, I can't not go into Ruth's room without progressing. It might change back once we walk through. I could have sworn that once you do this. There, it changed. Maybe that's all we needed to do. Maybe I just assumed because it changed. There, that's what we needed. Now we're going to go back. There, now it switched back. See, in Edwards, it didn't switch back right away. It took a minute. Now we should be able to go in here. Out of curiosity, I wonder if I can go back in here. Remember how it locked me? Yeah, I could have. Okay, well, that's good to know. See, I was just paranoid. So I was able to do it, but... Actually, hold on. We'll do, we'll do her room last. Let's just go in here. Because this is related to Edward specifically. Actually, hold on. I'll make a save again. And I'll get everything but the... Um... I'll get everything but deal with the camera. Because I thought that's what triggered it, but it wasn't. Lanyap. Lanyap saved. No. Castle. So we won't in, we won't engage with the camera just yet. I see. So I I thought it might have been bugged, but it wasn't. I mean, it well, it kind of is. I think there's a certain amount of things that do it. This this is my room. I belong here. Hers is I different. That when I get back, that from. that's the year I on her ring. So that's the so I wrote that. 19 whatever. So it's similar to Edwards in the sense that... So 918 is the code. I don't know the combination. Wait. Maybe I do. Flash bulb. Oh, we needed that for her anyway, so we can't even use it. So we had to go in here next. To Ellen, Emily. I finally found that photograph from my time in France during the war. I don't expect this to be your fiance, but it did make me think of him. What an incredible man he must have been. You were lucky in a way. He could have been a nobody and died falling into the Mississippi. Instead, he volunteered to travel across the world to fight for people in despair, dying with honor like Achilles at Troy. I am jealous of you. Or maybe him. It's all incredibly romantic. That's what I wanted to say. Please feel free to use my camera if you want to. It might cheer you up. It might bring him closer to you. Even if just in memory. Ruth. Now we can go to Ruth's camera and trigger her How long scene. Have I been here? And this is where we're gonna we're gonna start that chapter that is exclusive to them. So hers is different than Edward's. You know how Edward let that guy drown? Well, the crazy thing about these old cameras is the flash would literally destroy the bulb. Is this how you travel, Ruth? War in Europe rages on, and America is doing its part to hold back the German aggression. Ships from Boston and New Orleans arrived yesterday to bolster our gallant forces in France. These men will play a crucial role in helping our allies defend the innocent and defeat the German war machine. In trenches, they will defend themselves against the charging horde with razor-sharp ingenuity. All while planning how to Sorry, advance guys. the front with the use of artillery, machine guns, and your American spirit. There are more things than bullets and explosives that can cheat a man out of his God-given right to live. I'll find you, John. So obviously her husband was in the war. We knew that already. But did he die? Like, literally, I'm asking. What was that? 
Not yet, Nora. There's too many bugs and issues with it to be worth full price. It's crazy how many bugs there are right now. Like, a lot of them are progress, but, like, you can't even unlock certain trophies and achievements. Damn. That's not him, is it? I mean, there's a, each one, each character has a deep, dark secret, so I'm wondering. I wonder if she served in the war. In some fashion. No, this is World War One. John. Because this game takes place in 1930. Like the regular time, you know? God, I thought I was done with you. This is new. So this is her this is her demon whereas it wasn't Edwards. That's why we didn't deal with it. So Jesus Christ, this thing is close. Keep going. Camera, thanks for being a member for the last 11 months. So I remember stream coming from March. Yes, of course. I'm probably going to shoot for next week. Because I just don't have the time this week. But yeah, there's a, there's a member stream every month. Don't waste the ammo if you don't need it. This thing is just chilling there.
I saw that I could have broken the side if I wanted, but I went around him. Oh my god, go! Yikes, bro, that could have gone either way. I was not patient with myself. This game doesn't have any, any VR support. Hey, Miles, how's it going? I gotta run. There's no way I can kill that thing. I think you were supposed to take the L. Yeah, it was intentional. I just ran back towards it head on because I'm a boss like that. <laughs> It's like, oh, this death was frozen in time. That's crazy cool. Today, the American Expeditionary Forces face considerable John? losses in France. A brave man fallen on these elite John. Teams. So he did die in battle. Oh, John. Not of just Europe, but the world. What's the matter? Emma? President Woodrow Wilson spoke to our I can't do this. Asking them to stand tall. What's the matter? I can't take you dying again. Speak of them proudly. And remember I'm them still proudly. hurting. What's the matter, Emily? But the war effort in Europe is not our Your best. death was just so... Shameful. The New Orleans City Council decided to open yet another emergency hospital in the old Derseto plantation. What's up, Fox? How's it going, bro? Where is this? Where am I? Emily. Do we know? So all this is exclusive to Emily, and we're going to unlock, I think, most of, if not all of the collectibles for her down here. Oh, come on. Damn, flashlights stopped working. There we go. Oh, it's one of these jams. Ugh. 
That's better. <sighs> All right, combat. All right. Key item, entombment plans. Well, before we do anything, let's look around. Closing the refuge. Closing the refuge. Librarian. June 17. Read all the clues. Nice. It is with a heavy heart that I must declare the DeSeto Refuge to be harmful beyond saving. As an emergency hospital, we have over the last two years treated hundreds of patients suffering the so-called Spanish flu. Unfortunately, our mortality numbers are unforgivable. While the influenza in itself was often successfully treated, Many died of fungal infections and sudden acts of violent madness. In order to dismantle the refuge safely, building engineers will survey what parts of the house are especially contaminated by the peculiar rot discovered by Jean-Baptiste Tambois. The rot is believed to be the main perpetrator in spreading the deadly fungal infection, but also the cause of the incurable madness. The most Afflicted rooms will then be sealed permanently to create a cordon sanitaire. As the dead seem to exacerbate the spreading of the fungal infection, all bodies that can't be cremated by tomorrow will be forever entombed inside Dossetto's sealed section. The refuge was never meant to be permanent, and as the influenza epidemic seems to be in decline, it stands to reason that we shut the facility altogether. Many brave volunteers have helped for very little pay to treat those in need for almost two years. And we are forever in their debt. All surviving patients will be transferred to other medical facilities around New Orleans as soon as possible. At the end of the summer, we should be able to leave DeSeto to recover. Dr. Isaac Herbert. Alright, well that kind of answers the question whether or not I need to keep looking for clues, but I will anyway. All right, next land, yeah, box of biscuits. So this is the actually the last piece of the puzzle we need um, to get a secret ending. So this is one of those ones. Life is a stage play performed to no one, applauded by no one, and wanted by no one. A story already written, meant to play out in one way only. I wrote my book in order to explain that there might be more to life. That free will isn't truly free unless it moves against the expected. In retrospect, I think my ambition was hubristic. Yermi had a much more humble suggestion. What if we all just went home? Hmm. Hey there, Trowel. Uh, King, appreciate you being a member for the last 11 months. So close to that one year, definitely. One year to go, or one month to go. Thanks for being great. Well, thank you for watching and your support, of course. Only one more set to complete, and it's one more of these, and obviously, look, sheet music, war photo, and it's, I don't know what the tag would be. It could be a luggage tag or something, I guess we'll find out. But it's only the last one, and it's for Emily, and we're about to get it. I think it's like the next one we get, so we're going to get the trophy for that as well, which is nice. Like I said, I'm going to still look at these plans, and she must have hidden the plans in the escape pod. Good. All right, this is a certain order. Okay, foyer. Repository. Surgery. Archive. I see. So this can't... Let's put them all right way up. That way we know. Okay. So... This one is a dead end. So it's probably going to be on this side. So is this. This reaches a dead end. And something on the top. Oh, wait, no. This one, so is there anything that's like, goes through? Look, 
So you gotta look for these dead ends that don't join up. Oh. Wait a second. It shows you underneath. Oh, sir. I didn't realize it did that. Okay, surgery is there. It tells you. Repository is there. Damn it, stop doing that. Foyer is there. Archives are there. Okay. Okay, uh, what's that one? Morgue. Quarantine. Lab. There's the morgue. Quarantine. We'll trade these. Quarantine will go there. Repository. Where's the repository? Right here. Got it. What's that? John Marcus. It's very out of focus, but... That's right, Eddie. We're on the second one now. A lot of it's similar, but there's a ton that are different. There's a ton of shit that's different. Let me guess, that's her husband's body. <laughs> oh, and that's our collectible, isn't it? It looks exactly the same as the outline. 217. So it's a toe tag. Yeah. <sighs> I didn't know this is where you would end up. I didn't want to know. I stopped visiting you because I couldn't stand the indignity of your awful illness. I was ashamed of you. Ashamed of myself. Forgive me. Please, John. Let me go. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I have a cousin named Emily, and her husband's name is John. Are we done here? <laughs> A little coincidence there. Is this what you wanted? Someone just chucked a key. <laughs> oh, it's kind of creepy, honestly. That was kind of weird. <laughs> All right, the truth. Which one's John's body? Let's go back to it. I'll bet you anything we can. Yep, yeah, we can pick it up. This will get us a trophy. Ready? Give me that. Look at all the free stuff I got. Find all the land yaps. And we can get the dying with dignity. The sign resembles a blessing, save that the first and little fingers are both folded beneath the thumb, whilst the second and third fingers are held up. This dark blessing is said to protect against evil, much like the sign of the horns, which is quite similar, but has a reverse schema. The truth is that the dark blessing is a sign of submission. A complete capitulation to our lesser selves. The sign only protects from evil in the sense that you become a part of it. Okay, well that's all, 100%. That's a beautiful thing, guys. Beautiful thing. Okay, now we have the key. I just love that homeboy just chucked it. I abandoned him, Trophy. Own up to your awful past. So he actually didn't die, which is interesting. 
Oh, remember that locked door? That's what. That's why it was locked permanently. That was only for Emily. So now we pick up things from this spot again. Radio. Already got this. Hypothet. I need the key. Can I even open this door? No, not yet. I need the key. this wasn't there another one maybe not <sighs> to be fair though John is probably one of the most common names in the world so I wouldn't be shocked if, like everybody's name is John. <laughs> like my, uh, like Mel's grandpa's also, his name is John as well. Wow, first fucking try, baby. That's how it's oh, done. It's Stop it. This one was all kind of f kinds of fucked up, so it's got to be the right one, but it kind of gives you the hint. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just got to be somewhat close. There you go. This will let us go up to the top. Hey, Casey, how's it going, bro? There, now we can proceed. <gasps> but it looks like this instead. Oh, no, it's still happening. Sure, go ahead. I guess I never got a chance to look around this place. Right, the noose is a part of it. Yeah, we got that already. Oh, there's... Oh, yeah, that's the doctor's bust. I think we saw this already, but we'll let it play out in case it's different. They're coming. I have freed hellish forces and now the price must be paid. 
The Aceto is the prey of evil. The sun has set. They will find my body, but will not have my soul. I can imagine the master's fury and the terror in the hearts of his slaves. I hear their footsteps. Some may understand what I have done. May God forgive me. Farewell. What would happen if I refuse? Would the whole world come apart? Or would everything conspire to make a new story? Maybe one where I live. I'm sorry, Frederick. Yeah, we got a trophy for that before, but I think you have to do it. Oh, God, Casey, not at all. I mean, obviously, the better if you start, you know, earning more and more, you know, and things are working well and you can invest more into your setup, by all means, do it. But you sure as shit do not need uh, anything of the sort. Uh, trying to remember how this goes. There it is. Oh, shit, sorry. Uh, 641. Start with what you got. That's how we all do it. Keep in mind, I, the only thing that's really going to make things tough on you is just the insane amounts of competition there is. Because when I started, there was like just a handful of people doing it. So the competition wasn't as insane. Um, but now, like, everybody's doing it. So you have more tools at your disposal, but... You know what I mean? More tools at your disposal and way more, you know, things available to you to make your stream better. But, uh, unfortunately... That's your gonna re be your hurdle. I would start with whatever you can, whatever you got, or whatever you can afford. Somehow. And Hello? just work on your videos and content there? and get better. Jeremy, the rest will come. You? That's what I did. I'm I just replaced things as I could. The fire has taken me. Jeremy, can you hear the me? The is dead. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll get the boat running. I'll, I'll get you out of here. How's it going, Abdul? Oh, I hate these fucking guys. I didn't have time to shoot it. And the angle's all fucked up. See, that's not fair. That's not fair, guys. See what I'm saying? Like, I literally tried to aim at it, and it one-shotted me. It's just bad angles. There's certain things about this game that just don't cut it for me. It's going to be interesting, because I, I, I like the overall feel, and I like this style of game. I've always been a fan of it, this kind of game. But, I don't know, it just falls short in so many places. I mean, obviously, the bugs in the combat are probably the two weakest bits. Like, where is he? I'm dead already. I couldn't even see him. I've got a small window, and I can't see. Look, I'm gonna die. Dead again. It's fucking stupid. You don't have enough time. I, I'm gonna check my health. My health must be low. It's not even. It's not even that low. Why am I dying so easily? These guys have, like, a deadly attack. Yeah, no worries, Casey. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Dude, 
Are you kidding me? It keeps clipping. It's still alive. Stupid bug, it's still breathing. What? Okay. My goodness me, that was trash. I hated that. I remember that kind of happened at the beginning, but not like that, bro. That was such garbage. The boat has run aground, crashed right into the bayou. If I get the motor running, I could. I can head out on the highway. I made the same joke, didn't I? Get your motor running bad at na na head out on the highway. Looking <sighs> for adventure, and whatever comes our way. Oh shit. Didn't count. I missed. Dude, it's so cheap they get an extra attack. I can't stand these enemies. He see it missed. Been terrible, bro. Anyway. <sighs> no, it's not a hard game per se. It's just the combat is really poorly done. So, like, it's very clunky. So you feel like you're stuck on an island a lot. I mean, obviously, you can make it harder or easier as you go, but... I need more shoddy shells. I need more ammo in general. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that uh, trophy. Lost a lot of ammo for my secondaries there. I can break this. I I just feel like, you know what, I feel like this game had the potential, like, if it was longer too, I feel like you could tell there was just a lot more it wanted to do. That it, like, I just feel like it needed a bit more, like, if it was double the length and it had, like, ten chapters or something, I think that would have been so much better. I was gonna say, yeah, it's random. Oh, shit, I did not mean to drink that. I wonder if you act... Excuse me, accidentally drink something and ruin your run. I think it just needs fuel to run. I've enjoyed a good chunk of it, but there's some moments that I I'm not a fan of and I just wish they'd done differently or they just spent more time on it. Even if this was the game they give it and this is like, okay, this is the game, this is what it is. I would have been happy with it had they just uh you know, they, they they made it work. Like, all the trophies that are bugged, you know, the glitches, the combat. The combat needed work. 
But it would have it's gonna fare higher in the score tally. I think I already know what I want to give it. Yeah. For a rating. We're just getting the fuck out of here. I'm not even gonna bother. Haul it! I'm not fighting these clowns. Just just keep dodging. Ah! Hit the button! Get me out of here. What's up, Archer? Same thing happened. I got cornered last time too, but I actually didn't let him hit me. That is a deadly moment, that. I never really searched around this room very well. I immediately went to where I was supposed to go, so I'm gonna like search around a little bit. So I missed out on some potential ammo. Yeah, I got actually a lot of ammo. But I survived and I passed with Edward. Gimme that ship. Yeah, there's actually a lot of stuff I skipped out on. Not a lot, but a fair amount. Fair amount of ammo. Enough to make a difference. Yeah, there's different oh, cutscenes. Some of the cutscenes are exclusive. Uh, Dialogue's different. What's happening? Uh, and certain missions and areas are completely uh, exclusive, and you don't see them at all from one character to another. Uh, are you under the impression that you die? Yes. No. I was supposed to die. What does that mean to you? That you were supposed to die? I'm the catalyst. I had to die to make the story happen. What story? What are you referring to, Jeremy? Thirty years ago, Frederic needed me to die. Jeremy! You're not making any sense, Jeremy. Come back. Find your focus. Uncle? I cheated everyone. I didn't play my part. I escaped my doom. My destiny! Again. Find your focus. Jeremy! Now everything is wrong. Nothing is in place. Hey, listen to me. We're gonna drown. Calm down, Miss Hartwood. You're not in any danger. But... Jeremy... He was here, wasn't he? Miss Hartwood... I am beginning to suspect your family curse is catching up with you. Have you ever talked to a doctor about your condition? No. No, I was just confused. I thought I saw him for a moment. I'm fine. I'll let you be. Miss, I want you to know I'm here to help. If you need me. Okay, anyway. So now we gotta make our way to... I believe the, yeah, see the, the imagery changed. I want to see something. No, it's locked.
Yeah, they're locking the mezzanine. They want me to go straight to his office this time. Miss Hartwood, lock the door, will you? I'd rather not run into dear Dr. Gray if I can help it. This feels strange. So very strange. Yeah, see, it's it's a nod to the original fixed camera game. You okay? This place? It's like something from my childhood. It's just the private study of a very peculiar man. I think this is it. I'm properly mad. You should be. Dr. Gray's playing with fire. Their set is a powder keg of loonies, all ready to play their part in a murderous cult. I'm trying to say I've lost my mind, Detective. The heart would crush. Yeah, there's a uh, there's me. like one boss fight. I'm sure you're exaggerating. Try to focus on whatever you've been doing. Right, breaking the dark man's contract. Does it even matter anymore? There's a book missing. A secret door. Looks like it. Careful. Let me go first. Now we're talking. Great job, Emily. Found anything? Oh, Dr. Gray's in so deep, I knew it. He's as mad as his patients. I mean, look at this. She who can till the soil of this sick world and begin again. The black goat of the woods with a thousand young. Absolute insanity. I have the strangest sensation that this is somehow Jeremy's room. What? No. This is Dr. Gray's private quarters. I feel... I want to apologize, Detective, for my elusive behavior tonight. I'm glad you haven't given up on me and my uncle yet. Ah, oh, you got nothing to apologize for. In fact, you've been out of my hair for most of the evening, you're self-reliant, and you've been helping with your own particular brand of investigation as far as i'm concerned you're an exemplary client <laughs> thank you edward mr carnby uh just about archer i'm usually five days a week five days a week monday to friday streams usually varying in, in length good to find good thing i don't have to actually listen to that this shit. has something to do with the numbers for the tell the snake dagger i don't have to actually listen to all that data right now all right Should I even be doing this? Do I want to know? Use paint thinner on your uncle's painting. I'm going to save it. Because this paint thinner one. This is the one that. Um, Should I even be doing this? Do I want to know? This will set up one of the alternate endings. But you never get the objective, so it's pointless. So until they fix it, there's no sense in... I can't believe I didn't see that before. There's no sense in doing it. In order to do that, in order to get that option, you needed a certain amount of, you know. That's what's annoying, is like, that would get us a hidden ending, I believe, either. One of the ones, I, 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 sorry, one second. It was, I just wanna show you guys which one I'm talking about. I don't know which one it does. I know it sets it up, but you need to be, uh, which one is it? Uh, it's one of the 0% ones. It's either this one, Submit to the Dark Man, or it's this one here, Join a Cult. It's one of the two. It sets up one of the hidden endings, but none are obtainable right now, so there's no point in doing it. Basically, you get the objective, and it never finishes, so it never gives you the next objective. Ergo, you can never finish it. It's really stupid.
But I made a save there just in case it like they decide to fix it. Maybe come back and just get it. I don't know. Because I know there's another one where you need to be Edward and to trigger the other ending. I think one of them is a hidden bad ending. There's there's like a good ending and there's like a hidden bad ending for both characters, I believe. Hello? Who's there? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Jeremy is with the dark man? Where? Who is he? What, what is the dark man? The Hardwood Curse. He will come for you too. You heard the telephone ring, right? No, the telephone's cut off. I tried calling the police earlier. Yeah, that's what I figured. Do the same thing with Edward. That same glitchy shit. Hey, Mr. Carnby? What? Nothing, right? That's a closet. That's right, detective. I'll see you later. I have to finish this. You're going inside the closet? I know what it looks like, but I can't explain it, much less justify it. She explained- she's- Alright. You do what you have to do, miss. His dialogue Goodbye, and her dialogue there made so much more sense. Carby seemed way more, like, irrational. If I'm honest, story, I don't think I ever will. I don't think I want to set myself up for that kind of frustration. I mean, I was going to... It would have been beaten by now, but... I don't know. I just... Just the way it went down, you know? We found Damn it, it didn't go off. See how it's not? I think it's kind of off to this side. There it is. All right, they're arming us to the teeth. I have yet to aim my pistol. You know what, I forgot to aim. I keep forgetting to aim my weapon at a human. I wonder if I can do it at the end. max speed considering we're almost done the game again and we're just over four hours in and we would be under four hours right now 
into the stream anyway. If you know where you're going, you can really shave off a lot of time. First stream took us like just under eight, but we're listening to all the dialogue and everything. That really does add time. Yeah, I have plans to play the Singing City too. Last time that game came out, though, I was uh, still like I was doing streams, but I was streaming on Facebook, so I had a regular series. is going to be in the middle of your existence, Jeremy. And at least set everything in order. I think I went the wrong way, of course. I should have went the other direction. <laughs> Damn it, I hate the reload time, it's brutal. Shit, I wasted that second shot. That was unnecessary. Yeah.
I did everything you wanted to break the pact. What else can I do? Wait, it did work. That's why you're coming after me. You're in my head now. In that case, I hope you enjoy your stay. Emily, stop! Don't worry, we got you. Damn, a little bit different. She, he, Edward shot him, but we were about to kill ourselves. Are you alone? Or is he in there with you? Miss Hotwood is up! Heard you almost painted the foyer with your own blood and guts. <laughs> Good to see you still in one piece. Stick around, will you? It's gonna be an exciting night. Good to see you made it, miss. And all that ruckus, lot of give you a healthy dose of that sleeping juice. Wasn't sure you'd be waking up again. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Tried to shoot yourself. Sorry for the manhandling, but we just wanted to save you. You also stabbed Jeremy in the eye. Is he all right? Mm. He's a little strange, but everything else is back to normal. Really? I broke the pact? I don't know what you did, but it worked. Let's see you standing up, miss. Jeremy, are you okay? I'm so sorry for hurting you. How can you ever forgive me? Emily, I missed you so. I do hope you'll stay with me for a while. Uncle, what's wrong? Is it anesthesia? He, he seems so meek. I wish that was the case. It turns out that you managed to lobotomize him. It's actually quite impressive considering your technique. This is permanent? You sacrificed a piece of his mind to save the whole. It's a little like treating a bad knee by cutting off the leg. It's blunt, but it works. That's terrible. Perhaps. But at least he won't suffer anymore. Do you remember the dark man, Jeremy? Ah, yes. Where did he go? I hope he is doing all right. You see? With a violent stab, you made any future treatment quite redundant. I assume you will be bringing him with you back to New Orleans. I will. I just need to find Detective Carnby. Okay, so I'm gonna try and pull the pistol out. Oh, there, it gave it to me anyway. Watch where you're waving that thing. Aim your gun at a human. So even though I didn't pull it out, I just held it. Hey, that's all that matters as long as I get it. I'll be back soon, Jeremy. Then we'll go back to the city. We might get all the dialogue options How at the fun. end of this too. I do like riding in the motor car. Is there any chance he'll relapse back to his previous condition? None at all. He is forever cured from all worries and other difficult feelings. Have you seen Detective Carnby? I'm sure he's around here somewhere, poking and prodding. Well done, Miss Hartwood. You officially made Dorsetto the dullest place in existence again. Oh, thank you. 
Happy to be of service. She does have the same mask. I never really noticed that. Have you seen? But how is that even possible? <laughs> Still chasing that lovable palooka around, are you? I'm sure you'll find him. Can I write to you when I get back to town? <laughs> you are too sweet, Miss Hartwood. I'll look forward to reading all about your tedious routine. Okay, that's it for her. Good to see you're still with us, miss. Are you hungry? No, thank you. I'm still a bit woozy. Ooh, is that gumbo? I make it every year. We set up a little feast by the wishing tree and start a new year together. Have you seen Mr. Carnby? I haven't seen him for a while. Maybe you left. Yeah. See, things are a little bit different. I almost forgot this was here. The very heart of DeSetto, you know. Almost time to call on her. What is it that you do? Is it like the voodoo rituals you read about in the papers? I don't know, miss. I never saw one up close. My family has always been suspicious of the hoodoo. You haven't seen Detective Carnby, have you? No. And I hope he stays away. I don't think he would understand what is about to happen here. Do you know what's about to happen here? Oh, just a little ceremony we do each year on the eve of St. John. We raise our glasses to the old wishing tree here and ask for a better year. Is it all for show? Or do you actually believe the tree can help? Well, I guess some of us do. I mean, Lottie and Mags are pretty invested. Taking it a little too far, you know. Sounds like you might be in a cult. <laughs> yeah, I can see how you think that. Okay, so here's the thing that I'm not sure how it's going to be. I need to have a conversation with her three different times, but to get like an achievement. But I don't know if it's... Oh, yeah. There's two of them. Good. Okay. So, we're going to have this conversation here. What are you doing? This should get us Care a trophy. The ceremony. This time, she will come. I'm sure. We'll save again, and then we'll get the hidden ending. You see that circle above her head? That isn't normally there. That's because we have Who's it. We need coming, to get Grace? a secret ending. But the we'll load it again and get woods. the proper one. The mother of a thousand young. I hope you find what you're looking for, Grace. Whatever it is that you need. That's a terrible thing to say. Because we, well, we know what's coming. And it didn't work. Well, I did do everything, but... I had every conversation. So... I guess I can't get it? That's frustrating.
Hey, kid. What are you up to? Nothing much. Yeah? Anything I'm gonna have to pay for? You're bored, aren't you? Yeah, I can tell. You want to see if we can tear your mother away from the play? Can you believe they're still going? It's been hours. You forgot this. Well, I just didn't want you to think we had abandoned you in there. Can we go home? Yes, please. Can we? What? You guys didn't like the play? It was all right. A little difficult to follow. Oh, I agree. Let's just say there were moments where it, uh, left me alone in the dark. <laughs> oh, God. That's the name of the play! Whoa, what do you know? Did you like it, sweetie? There should have been a hedge maze. A hedge maze? Uh-huh. And pirates. <laughs> that would have been fun. Well, maybe next time. Oh my god, bro. What just happened? Gave Gra give Grace a present. That is so funny. You know what that did? That actually confirmed that remember what I said? Remember how they was calling him compare the whole time? Like in, in our first run, that the, that is someone I, and I read that the, the dialogue that um Sorry, what was it? Wait, what is this? Dude, I... Wait, why is it doing this? Jeremy, are you okay? The fuck? Dude, I hit load on... This. Oh, look at my playtime. 309. Bro, I almost beat it under three hours. I fucked around, too. It is a close... So if I, if I literally just didn't do any of the dialogue... This one was supposed to load. So essentially, like last time, compare is someone whose job is to tell... The, oh, it just... Wow, so it saves it. It doesn't even let you do it. That's so dumb. Uh, What is it? I read into it before. It's someone who... Uh, who designs the play or tells you, like... In, you know, in a play or actors or whatever, you you basically give them direction. You get, you assign them roles and stuff. I think that's what a compare was. So I'm like, wouldn't that be funny if we were all just actors? If that's the secret ending, they were all just watching a play this whole time. That's funny. Anyway, let's go ahead and do. So I knew it was a play. It just it depends on the ending. That was just one of the endings. Everyone knows what to do. Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Hell, there are praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever there are praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us. Hear us. Take pity on us. Hear 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 us. What are you doing? This is madness. This heals what needs to happen. She's just a child. Edward, get out, the Emily. Grass. We're leaving. No, there has to be a separate one. No. Oh, 
Come with me. Everyone got fucked up. It was quite dramatic. Anyway, now we just gotta go ahead and take that zombie on. I have to stop that thing. It's gonna kill everything in its way. Get up there, Jesus. Once you know how to beat it, though, the boss is relatively easy.
Oh my god, I missed the opportunity because that stupid thing was still running around. Emily, are you all right? I don't understand anything that just happened. What was that? The whole gang was a cult dedicated to something called the Black Goat of the Woods. I've been trying to gather as much information as I could. It was only after you started talking about monsters that I thought maybe there was some truth to all the nonsense I was finding. Where's Jeremy? Uncle, are you all right? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Don't say that. You made it out. Be happy. Okay? Hey, kid. You doing all right? It wasn't what I expected. But you can't always get what you want. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. Let's go. Can I come? Don't leave her. You have to take her to Hell's Kitchen. What on earth are you talking about? So slightly different. So I'm wondering because I didn't I didn't get the chatterbox trophy, which is where you talk to everybody. I, when I reloaded the game and I or I started from scratch again, and the first optional conversation with Ruth, do you remember? I I had already done it the previous run, and then I restarted because I messed up. So does that mean did I skip through it when I reloaded, and that's probably why? So if I were to reload the game, I don't think it would count because I bailed. You have to see it through, I think, in one run for it to count. So anyway, uh, that's really annoying. Basically, I'd have to replay that whole thing again if I wanted to get that trophy just because I missed it. Anyway, so based on that, annoyingly, I think we should have gotten... Okay, that one we were close, but we didn't quite make it. We got most of the trophies anyway. And a lot of them are bugged. These two are bugged for sure. Uh, this one, Chatterbox. Actually, ever... I feel like I could have gotten that one. But it's possible I just didn't make it. So I would have had one extra trophy, but... I don't know how I, I think I did. I'd have to double, I'll have to double check if I reloaded and I didn't end up talking to her the second time around. I'm like, oh, it's not there, but I, I think I did. I can't remember. I think that's where I messed up because I did it the first time through. I talked to her to get all the conversation. Then when I restarted the game and I started it again, I talked to her. I didn't, I didn't, you know what I mean? That's the only thing I could think of. I don't know if I actually have a save. Um, shit, one second. I don't know if I actually have a save or not. Um, that far back. Chapter 2. That's the only one. I don't know. I guess I'll check on my own just to see. It's only 13 minutes in, so... Probably not. Might be able to run through it. I did make a hard save. It's, wor it's worth a chai. I'll check it later. But anyway... So there you have it, Alone in the Dark. Uh, unfortunately, we can't see the two 
extra endings because the trophy or not even the trophy rather it's not so much the trophy that's bugged it's the progression system that's bugged so essentially if i were to do one of those secret ending one excuse me secret endings one of them is accessible via emily that you guys saw it in the closet there uh you can do one but then you won't get the second optional or second objective to complete it it never pops up apparently the same thing with the one on edward's side so you can't get those two hidden ones where you either join a cult or you succumb to the dark man or whatever so uh that's unfortunately a big kind of outline of this game i think if you guys plan on getting this game i would wait uh until all the bugs are ironed out this game obviously wasn't ready to rock and roll look at my total play time 313 i was only 13 minutes in game play time um shy of getting that other trophy where you had to beat it in under three hours i actually wasn't far off and I, to be fair i did stop a lot but if i just rushed through everything and just like skipped enemies and all that stuff that would have been pretty good. But anyways, you get the idea. So, uh, yeah, I, I think this game's really got to get its stuff lined up. The bugs are really bad, unfortunately. The combat is really not great. It's very, very rigid and stiff, and it's not that satisfying. Uh, the boss fight was okay once you figured out how it is. But overall, as a story, a very confusing game. For the after, I mean, after a couple of runs through it's a bit it's a bit out there for what the story is actually about um and i think it's not doing itself enough justice yes i i do think you should play through this twice just to get a full understanding and it is cool to see little things and how they cross paths you know with different characters and how it how it's different um but honestly based on what it is it's it's not a bad game it's not a great game either it's better than your average bear though uh than like one of those middle of the run games I feel like it has a lot of potential and the fact that there are there is replay value here to see different endings when, once everything gets fixed and sorted once the bugs are sorted i could look past um the the glitches but in its current state i'm probably giving it a uh 6.5 out of 10 just because it doesn't have enough there the bugs are really annoying but those will be fixed i know those will be fixed and i think it'll be a better game once we try but overall i think a six and a half is a fair score to give it in its current state i would give it some time even even if you even if all the patches are fixed i'd wait till it comes down in price i think this is a fair game for 30 dollars, honestly because yes you can play the game multiple times but a lot not all of it is the same so i really just it, it just depends on how you look at it from there so uh yeah anyway that's my thought hope you guys you know it, it helps you make a decision on that so obviously i didn't have to start streaming as early as i did that took us under four hours uh it's a four hour 40 minute stream uh for part or the first stream took me 7 45 to be fair we were listening to all the clues i was because it was new uh, i was able to skip everything uh or sorry it wasn't a lot of it was was not new i could skip all that and just kind of get through the end so i could firmly see how if you rush through this game rush 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 you can get through it um really quickly and what's funny about this is like um, I remember reading online saying, oh, if you rush it, it's 10 hours. That's such bullshit. I did absolutely everything in my first run, and I beat it in under 8 hours. So, you know what I mean? I, I hate when people make shit up. I don't know who made shit up, but, like, about a bunch of people are like, oh, it's 10 hours. No, it's not. One person even said, oh, it took me 22 hours to do both. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding? What are you doing? Like, what are you taking so long for? I don't understand. Like, are you literally failing that hard at the puzzles? I don't get it. Let's be honest, guys. If you're an average gamer, you're probably going to take like eight hours if you do everything if you rush through the game on your first try and even with p puzzle fails i'm guessing under six hours so that's just a lie you're probably going to get if you're seasoned and you really want to do absolutely everything under the sun for this game because it'll take you a while just to get through you know everything i think your first run's gonna be long a second run short and then you do a speed run run you could probably get a total of maybe i don't know um 15 to 20 hours of playtime out of this game because you can make hard saves and just go and get the other endings later. So I think you need a minimum of three uh, save files uh, for this one. like Or three different runs. So two completed runs with making hard saves at certain points. If you want to get alternate endings or whatever. So you need two uh, of the full games. And then you need you might, might need four actually. I'm not exactly sure. But I think you might need four. Because then you'll have to replay it with all the collectibles. So yeah, I think you need four if you want to get 100%. And then you just put hard saves everywhere. So anyway... That's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow, we are going to be jumping in to Rise of the Ronin. I'm really excited to be checking that one out. So hopefully, you guys do tune into that. Uh, and obviously, we got next week, there's going to be a bunch of more games as well. Not as many, but we're going to be playing some more. And I'm going to throw in the members only, uh, the members only stream as well next week. So uh, make sure you check that out. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed the stream, be sure to leave a like. 
Comment your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Turn on those post notifications as well with the bell icon, so you don't miss anything I put out. Uh, be sure to like, follow my social pages. Got a Facebook, X, Instagram, Snapchat, and a Discord, all linked in the description. If you want to get a shirt hoodie of mine, this link in the description, also in a better feature below the stream. You can scroll down and see some goodies I have there. Big shout out to all the sponsors, of course, DX Racer, Bones Coffee, The Ridge Wallet, Matter Ever Tattoo, and Jake's Custom Controllers. I use their products daily, and you can check them out for yourselves with the links in the description. Be sure to use my promo code DanQ8000 to save at checkout. Finally, guys, be sure to check out and sign up for the Team 8000 membership program if you haven't done so already. It does support the page a lot. There's four tiers available with a wide variety of perks. You're going to get things like custom badges by your name, custom emojis to use in chat, exclusive video stream access, priority in open lobbies, giveaways, discounts, plenty more. Like I said, man, we're working our way up back up to 400 members sitting in the 390s. So if you guys want to help us reach that goal, that's only eight members away. Links are in the description to join that. There's a join button below the stream, and there's one on my main channel page as well. You can give members and send super chats right next to chat. You'll see that dollar sign icon. You click it, you'll get a drop down. And with that, you can gift anywhere from one to 50. Members in a single transaction ultimately gift as many as you want. Let's see how many members we can get up i appreciate it like i said guys the members only stream for that you got to be a basic member or higher and like i said that's going to be getting done next week so i'll let you know more as i figure out my schedule for next week but for now just know it's coming next week so make sure you join if you want to check that out thank you guys for watching have a great rest of your day and hopefully we catch you tomorrow for rise of the ronin all right guys thanks again we'll see you next time peace